There's a lot to talk about in this video from Awesome Knots and the developers Ronimo Games to a depressive steampunk game recently released, a strange platformer, and the biggest update to No Man's Sky yet. Are you ready everyone? Now that's gaming. A robot awakes alone to find his world changed in a way he couldn't imagine. Take a look at Mechanism, an atmospheric puzzle game set in the depressive steampunk environment where you have a disease called Phlegum that's spreading, affecting everything around you. The game focuses on a visual narrative, adventure, and the story that changes based on your actions, which sounds pretty neat. The game was created by one person, Alexander Goodwin, and from the looks of the game, that is pretty impressive. The presentation alone looks pretty great, and despite some of the bugs and issues people have had at launch, the developer seems to be patching the game up quickly, which is always an awesome thing to see. I always like to see these crazy concepts and story driven games and this one definitely has a different feel to it. Congratulations on the release Alexander, it's always an awesome accomplishment to have a game come out and hopefully others will enjoy your game as well. Awesome Nas has a new character in update 4.7 Slam Dunk, introducing Snork Gunk. Along with Snork, there is a patch that brings some bug fixes and other balance changes to the Awesome Nas cast. I tried out Snork and I am not really sure how to feel about this character. He has some fun abilities, but I think they could have been much more creative with the basketball theme for his moveset. At least his theme song is pretty good. Ronimo Games are also putting Awesome Knots to the sidelines to work on upcoming titles, which I am glad they are finally adventuring more outside Awesome Knots. While I do love the game, I can imagine some pretty fun projects with the art style presented in the game. I am very curious to see what types of games they have in mind, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. I really wish you the best of luck, Ronimo. You got this. I am happy to announce that Escape Dude Land will be releasing sometime in August after three years of hard work, which is crazy. This is a fast paced 2D platformer where you are in this crazy world full of weird doodle drawings. It's visually pleasing and something I've never seen before, especially in a platforming game. After watching this game throughout the last year, the two developers really introduced some nice changes with more detail in levels, sound design, level redesigns, and always taking constructive feedback from the community. I did a video on the Escape Dude Land demo in the past, so if you want to see a bit more detail in the gameplay and my experience, there will be a link to it in the card and description below. It's back. Well, technically it never left. No Man's Sky is a controversial game with its release and other choices that didn't make it to the final game, whether it be choices from Sony or something else. It's it's just been it's just crazy. However, over the last few years, it's been getting improvements and updates, and it seems that a huge update was released earlier this week. The No Man's Sky Next update brings in multiplayer, base building, third person, newer planets, and much more. Despite the poor launch and reception of No Man's Sky, you have to give Hello Games some credit for sticking with the game for that long, as many other developers would most likely have ditched their game. Now it all comes down to really will this update make people stick around longer this time? Um, there are definitely a lot more people playing it on Steam right now. You can see um, currently there is a ton more people playing it after the update, which is nice to see. And I might pick it up as well since it is on sale, at least until July 30th on Steam. I'll put the patch notes in the description to the latest update for you to check out to decide if this update changes your mind on the game. With this newest update to No Man's Sky, will you be picking up the game or patch? on it still let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you want to discover something new relating to indie gaming then consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date with some of the latest content 
Here is a playlist I created of some of my best videos that can get you started. Thank you so much for taking your time out of your schedule to watch this video and I'll catch you next time.